Okay, so here we go. Now things are getting a little fun. Um, here is a model. Uh, it's called a Duffing Oscillator. Basically, it's a cubic nonlinearity with forcing. And I made a, a, a video before, and some people liked it, so I kind of wanted to explain what I did. I have a plane and the icosphere in my previous video that I was... Um, moving with the ping pong system is intersecting that plane and so I made the plane a canvas and I had to you know give it some geometry so I did a good subdivision that's a uh, hundred subdivisions and then the icosphere and I, and I made that a dynamic paint canvas and then the icosphere I made that a brush and then for the canvas, I used the uh, wave option under the uh, uh, dynamic paint. And so if we take a look at what this ping model looks like, I only made some slight changes to what I had before. I added forcing function. So here I have F, which was zero before, but then I also have freak and that is frequency in hertz. So what, I, what I'm doing, I'm taking the uh, forcing magnitude, that's the three, and then the frequency in hertz, I'm multiplying by two pi, and that results in radians per second. And then that is multiplied by time and then that goes into the cosine function and then that's multiplied by the coefficient f which is the uh, the forcing and here I finally figured out that my annotations are are, are um, not all in the same uh, keyframe if I uh, if I do it when the simulation is going so here's here it is it's uh, f and hertz and there's 2 pi that's multiplied by time and then take the cosine of that and multiply it by f and that's the input now there's only a slight change to the system too and that's in the uh, the Euler integration subsystem and if we go into that node we can see that there's a section down below that's added and here I'm taking the xn out, and I'm taking the cube of that. Uh, so it's going to the power of 3. And then I have a term called alpha. That's just a coefficient that I'm playing around with. And that's divided by m, and then multiplied by negative 1. And then that's multiplied by that uh, xn to the third power. And then that's added to the results that we had before. So I'm basically taking that second row of the equation that was in the, the previous system that we were working with in part two. So this is part three, I guess. And I'm adding an extra term there, which is the cube of xn. And then that goes in to the quantity that's multiplied by delta t. And that's basically it. Um, now this is Euler integration, so I don't know how um, good this answer is. I'm going to do it for improved Euler, and then Runcutta, and so that's basically it. And I just wanted you wanted to show that to people uh, in case they were interested, because that was like the next thing that I wanted to put out there. Um, why I'm doing this, and uh, uh, it's. It's pretty cool. Um, and if you uh, look up duffing oscillators, you can see you can get all sorts of different patterns with different uh, forcing magnitudes. And if the coefficients of the equations of motion are a little bit different, you get much different motion. So that's it. I think it's pretty cool. And uh, hope you enjoy. Bye.